Hello, welcome back to Jigs Reviews. We have got the power of two Scottish giants today. That's right, I've got myself some beer. Um, this is from Innis and Gun. Um, I've had their beers before. I've had them, um, I've done quite a few little, I can't, <laughs> it's top of my head, I can't actually think of any, but I've definitely drunk Innis and Gun beers quite a few times. Always enjoyed them. Uh, they've done some good little flavours and stuff, but this one today is, I'm, I'm praying it's going to be wonderful because it is, like I said, two Scottish giants combining and one of them just happens to be my favourite kind of tipple. So yep, I tell you what, let's open this little box up and look at the goodies, as Ciara said. Ciara, Ciara, maybe pronounce her name. She's got the goodies anyway. Let's have a look. So yes, just words that are pure magic to my ears. Isla whiskey cask. <laughs> Come to daddy. So yes, Innocent Gun have matured their beer in Lafroy casks. It's their actual, it's Lafroy quarter cask to be exact. And um, I couldn't be more excited. Uh, this is just, surely this is gonna be good, right? It's gotta be good. Anyway, there's there's a bottle in here. It's a 330ml bottle. As you will see, here we go. Here's the bottle. So 330ml. It's 7.4% ABV. And obviously this is limited edition. So um, I don't know if this is in the shops, but you can get this from their website. Um, hence the reason it's in a box, because I ordered it from their website. But, um, oh, what are they? F five, six quid a bottle? I think they might be six pound a bottle. Uh, postage, I believe, was free. Um, that's just irrelevant anyway, you know, whatever. you. If you're interested, you'll do it and you'll buy it and you'll whatever, so. So yeah, this is a Scottish red beer. Um, I'll give you the spiel. There's quite a lot of spiel on the back of this box. Obviously, they're, uh, this is special, so they're obviously making the special effort. So hence the reason why they come in lovely little boxes themselves. So at the back, Isla Whiskey Cask Ale, matured in Lafroy Quarter Cask, limited edition Scottish red beer. Isla, a rugged, do I really want to read all this? Do you know what, I'm going to put that in a little, I'll put that in a little pip here and go up slowly so you guys can read it because um, me reading this is quite boring and takes up a lot of time. But anyway, so yeah, it's been matured in Lafroy Quarter Cask. But um, there was something on here which did make me laugh. So obviously the box has got a little bit of painty artiness around the side of it, which to me just looked like they'd just coloured the box in, you know, um, I didn't think much of it. But to frame this unique collaboration between two of Scotland's most celebrated producers, we have commissioned renowned Scottish contemporary landscape artist, Ellis O'Connor, to create the painting which adorns our packaging. The dynamic energy, <laughs> sorry, the dynamic energy, <laughs> people talk some bollocks, don't they? Uh, seen in Ellis's work, are her as, are her? Oh, well, Ellis, I just assumed bloke, actually. How wrong I am. How very sexist of me. Um, <laughs> Ellis's work are her response to observe change in the landscape, the merging of sea and air, advancing rain and mist, ever-changing light, elements that characterise an impression of Isla and the west coast of Scotland. We hope you agree, and this provides the perfect backdrop to an exceptional beer inside. Unfortunately, I don't agree. Um, if they're going to get someone in to do some... <laughs> sooner have something a bit better than some splashes of colour but yeah I don't appreciate art I'm an everyday person so unfortunately that's wasted on me what is in here is what I'm what I'm more concerned about is the beer gonna be any good so let's pour it up and give it a try shall we boom there it is Bet you didn't know I was a magician. Anyway, so here we are. I mean, that is that is very dark, extremely dark. It has got a little red red tinge to it. 
I said it was red beer. Um, get my word incorrectly. Scottish red beer being sacked. It's just not anything else. It's Scottish. Um, so yeah, nice dark colour. You expect from an ale. <laughs> yes. Praise the Lord. Now I'm getting more, which I've kind of expected because obviously Isla is, especially Lafroy, is very pungent. I mean, you can't, you can't miss it. You smell it a mile off and that is just, it is, it's like putting your nose pretty much just in a drama Lafroy. I think the more you smell it, the beer starts coming through. Um, I'm not gonna explain my nosing of a beer because it just smells like beer, if I'm being honest with you. But yeah, it's the it's the it's it's just it is it's, it's what it says on the bottle. It's beer with Lafroy in it. Now I've never bothered pouring some um, whiskey in a beer because that just seems a little bit something that I wouldn't think about doing, to be honest. Um, unless I was absolutely off my trolley and just decided to play some silly drinking games, but. That works, it really does work. It's funny, I, that happens a lot with me. I like left nostril is beer, right nostril is Lefroy. Yeah, but yeah, let's just taste it. I've been waiting, like, well, actually, these, I got these yesterday, they were delivered, so um, I've, I've managed to wait a whole day, so I've you know. Good on me. That is thick. That is so thick. That is a very, very heavy beer. You know, that's, it's on a stout level. The heaviness of that is like a stout. Mm. Oh, but it's so smooth. It is so smooth. wasn't very successful so after editing my video yesterday I was going through about halfway through stopping where you've literally just come off from and all of a sudden my lapel mic made a horrible droning sound I tell you what I'll let you listen yourself first you're picking up like chocolate yeah, that was a bit of an issue so I am sitting here again now finishing off what I didn't get done so by the way, this isn't what we were drinking yesterday. This is a sneak peek of my next video, if you can guess what that is. So anyway, I, as you saw, I have two bottles of, uh, excuse me as well, I'm in my work gear. I'm just finishing this video as quick as possible so I can get it done and now. Um, so unfortunately, I'm still in my work clothes. But anyway, I um, put my hair's fresh. I cut my hair, so you know, fresh new trim. If you can call having a bald head a trim, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, I, um, I have got two bottles of this, obviously I drank one in the video, and I thought, could I drink it again? And I thought, maybe not. Because it was so good, I just want to save it and have it with a cigar. So my other bottle, I'll be saving for another time with a cigar, so um, I didn't want to waste, not this a waste, because it's there to be drunk, but I didn't want to drink it again now, just so I could finish off this video. So I went through, listened through the noise, and wrote down what I put for the rest of it. Um, as you can see, I write a little bit like a doctor. It's very, uh, very scribbly and neat on top of stuff for work as well, which is not really necessary. Anyway, so I'll read you what I gave them, what the taste was. Um, sorry, this isn't very professional, but these things happen sometimes. But anyway, so I've got, so first off, it was chalk, toffee taste to it. Along with the beer, obviously, and as that washes over, the Lafroy came in. You know, you got the <clears throat> the Brian, the Brian. My mate Brian was in the glass swimming around. Brian, there you are. Brian, brilliant. Brian, saltiness. Um, but uh, I'm not going to say this is how bad my writing is. I can't even read my own own writing, but not the medicinal taste. Obviously, if you drink an Isla, you do get that medicinal taste to it. The iodine, iodine, how you want to pronounce it. So um, yeah. Not a lot of that, it was just more of the, the sea salt and the brine taste that you get from Lafroy. 
Uh, and as that goes, it, after that taste, it got sweet again. And uh, that is when I got toffee nut, um, a bit like um, toffee cinder. You know how the middle of a crunchy bar is? It was a bit like that. So I think that's called toffee cinder, honeycomb, whatever. But yeah, I think toffee cinder is the correct term for what the, the taste I'm going for. So yeah, and I'll, I'll put here, reiterate the smoothness of it. It was so, so smooth. It really, it went down amazing. It was so silky in your mouth, uh, lovely mouthfeel horrible word but yeah it's a lovely mouthful really really enjoyed it as like i said in the first part of the video it's got to be one of the i might have said it, it might have been the end of it i can't remember now but it's definitely one of the best beers i've had in a long 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 time that's pretty much it really so yeah and obviously the despite the beer as i said before the amazing artwork you know that was just something next level that was weren't it yeah i am um, you know if you're a big fan you could obviously probably flatten the box frame it put on a wall and just look at it and revisit the memory of the delicious beer every time you have one. Or keep the box as it is and maybe put it next to your favourite ornaments on the side because it's just such a sight to behold. Um, I'm talking shit by the way. But anyway, that's the end of that. Sorry that it's not a uh, normal standard video because I've got a drink with me and I'm sitting in my work gear and just finishing off whatever. But yeah, you get the point delicious drink definitely go and get yourself some i highly recommend you do and that's about it really so thank you for watching don't forget to like and subscribe leave a comment if you've tried some uh let me know what you thought about it um i've had a few comments on my last whiskey video saying that they're not fans of the um the ardbeg hardcore or they were fans you know it's good to have a little bit of feedback and a little bit of conversation with people watching the video and all of that really Website www.jigsviewsandreviews.com. Um, everything's on there Teesprings, Patreon, you know, whatever I've got going on. Links to everything all on there. So, yes, go check it out. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. Well, I'll probably be reviewing this. It's good. Oh.